For as long as I can remember, there has been a debate over who is Warframe's most underrated or underappreciated Warframe. Banshee, Zephyr, Yareli, Nyx, the list goes on and on, but you guys are free to debate that in the comment section. Now, out of our three starter Warframes, Mag is the one new players pick up and quickly realize that maybe she's a little bit squishy and that they are left with maybe a little bit of regret. They think she sucks, but I have news for them. Hey, pal, you just blowing from stupid town? Mag is one of the best frames in the game. In early game, she might not seem as flashy or effective as what Excalibur or Volt are, but in late game, she is the one that, in my opinion, blows the other two clean out of the water. Don't get me wrong, Volt and Excalibur are still great frames. Volt more so than Excalibur, in my eyes, in terms of what they bring to a squad, but Mag is something special, magnificent even. She is a frame I've enjoyed more than any other Warframe last year, especially with the new shield changes, but she is still underrated by those who still look at Mag in the way they would have when they seen her as one of the starter Warframes. Now, Mag was first added into Warframe back in 2012 in closed beta. She is our very first female primed frame, but this is my Mag Prime. She's a Warframe that can strip shields, strip armor, crowd control, jam weapons, create choke points, group enemies up, nuke rooms with magnetize. She also has multiple ways of restoring her own and teammates' shields through abilities, arcanes, and of course, one Topaz Archon Shard and a companion modded for blast damage because shield regen on a Topaz Shard works from any blast source, it seems. So having your companion do it, meaning you don't have to mod for it, definitely works. Now, veterans of the game know Mag for what she is. On top of this, she can crowd control enemies with Overguard and Demolists, which is not something that many Warframes in the game can actually do. So she is unique. Now, surprisingly enough, she is also a Warframe that has no real backstory, no actual in-game lore, which is disappointing because I feel like our three starter Warframes deserve better lore, but they kind of predate that era of Warframe. However, we have got Warframe 1999 on the way, and part of that is Arthur Excalibur. But also, in his earpiece on the cutscene or the little bit of a quest we played, we had a woman called AoE speaking to him, who seems to be the Warframe 1999 version of Mag. You can hear her casting what sounds like Mag's abilities over the earpiece. Also, in the Sanctum and Atomica missions, the Netrocells, or any of the other missions, the tile sets that you're running to, there is what looks like designs for a half human half Warframe hybrid version of Mag in some of the areas, so that's basically AoE. So if you do enjoy Mag, then Warframe 1999 should be very, very interesting for you. Now, if you're new to Warframe, then you're more than likely going to have to be looking to mod your Mag something like this to begin with, because your mods, of course, are limited range, power strength, duration, maybe a bit of efficiency, and of course, survivability on top of that, because you haven't got your hands on any of the augments or primed or umbral mods or the arcanes or archon shards that veterans of the game have in order to power her up even further, which you will get much later on. And you wouldn't have the endo to level up some of those mods all the way anyway. But eventually, you will be looking for a build something like this. This is my current setup, although you can switch or build however the hell you want. I have got multiple different abilities subsumed, but the mod setup is pretty much the same for each one of them. She is my favorite Warframe right now, so I have got Tauforge shards on her. She is the only Warframe I have Tau Forged on. Her Fracturing Crush Augment will strip enemy armor by 100%. All you need is 134% power strength for this, but increased power strength will mean greater shield amounts returning to you and teammates from the ability itself. Fracturing Crush will also crowd control enemies for 7 seconds, and her Counter Pulse Augment will jam enemy weapons when you cast Polarize. Now, Polarize will also strip armor and shields of enemies, while also restoring it to you and teammates depending on power strength. It will also strip shards off enemies affected by Polarize, which will then orbit Mag whenever she gets close to them, and strike out to nearby enemies dealing slash and puncture damage based on how much armor or shields was stripped from that target to begin. 
begin with. So the shard damage, the polarized shard damage, scales off strip value and of course power strength. Now subsuming nourish onto your mag will have these dealing viral damage I believe which will make them even more powerful. Or if you wanted you could go with breach surge which will allow of course those radiation kind of headshots to bounce between enemies which deal ridiculous numbers especially once you've got those enemies completely stripped of shield and armor. Now, I have also got a Thermal Sunder subsumed onto my mag for the simple reason it deals blast damage when you kind of use the heat and cold together, which of course will restore all of my shields as well because of that one Topaz shard. And I have got an Electric Elemental Ward mag as well for the simple reason I wanted to try the Archon Flow mod and see just what kind of energy regen I could get from it. In terms of arcanes, arcane aegis, arcane barrier, arcane blessing energies, whatever the hell you want. Like I said, one of Mag's strengths is her utility in stripping armor and shields with her ability polarize, but it's also a weakness because if enemies don't have shields or armor, then her abilities are nowhere near as effective and she can't replenish what she can't strip. So more, more enemies and infested are not exactly ideal with Mag. However, she has got Magnetize, her bubble ability where she can basically pull all enemies into the center of that giant bubble. Magnetize absorbs incoming damage and projectiles and multiplies that damage before exploding the bubble. So you can mod for this with the augment and build an absolute room nuke if you wanted to, but that's not my style. I kind of like having a squad based bubble or a squad base helper with crowd control. Magnetize will also pull in mags shards, those polarized shards, and swirl them around its center. Also any projectiles from your weapons. So using projectile based weapons is the best way to use mag, which is why I use my Latron and Karnan Prime. The bubble will swirl its Karnan projectiles around its center like an absolute blender, killing everything inside. Magnetize can be cast on Acolytes, like I said, or other harder to kill enemies and burn them down in absolute seconds with the right weapon. And like I said at the start of the video, right now one Topaz Shard built to restore shields when you deal blast damage on any shield kind of tanky Warframe is amazing. The blast effect works from any source, it seems to, including your Sentinel. I have my Dead Cube Prime modded for blast, I also had my Nautilus modded for blast uh, to just see which one I preferred and I can keep my mag's shield almost up indefinitely outside of really stupidly high levels that is so one normal topaz shard or two will work with a companion modded for blast but i genuinely would hold off on combining any archon shards right now until de get back in the studio after our christmas holidays because something tells me green purple and of course topaz shards as well as a certain melee arcane which spreads status effects are maybe not working as intended and could be getting some tweaks because some of the builds we're seeing from whether it's Kalervo, Saren, the dual Ikers are kind of a little bit busted and I'd like to see what DE are going to do to them if anything or at least let us know before putting any kind of time into combining my Archon shards because once you do that you can't of course reverse those shards back to what they were originally. But let me know what you think is the most underrated Warframe in the game or has been in your eyes. Have a great day either way. Have a great week. Let me know what your favorite Warframe is as well since Mag is mine right now, which is not something I thought I would say considering I really like my tanky frames and I liked my Chroma, my Rhino and of course Corvex as well, even Steinex. But now I've been finding myself using Mag more than any other. Like I said, have a great week and as always, thanks for watching.